In this video, we will introduce some basic methods for analyzing a simulation on ANSYS Rocky software after it has been processed. This video follows part B of ANSYS Rocky. Tutorial 1, Transfer Shoot, available at ANSYS Help. Make sure to watch the video in which part A was covered. Here, we will start from where we left off in part A. It's also possible to download the tutorial 01, pre-processing Rocky file at ANSYS Help which is a setup file ready to be run. Now that the project has completed processing, we can begin to analyze it. We can use the time toolbar to navigate between specific output and simulation times. We may also use the time set filter to display only a specified time range. There are three different ways to color the geometries and or the particles. The coloring toolbar colors all the geometries or particles by a property. To color individually, we will select a wall under Geometries. In the Coloring tab, we can expand Faces for Boundaries or Nodes for Particles and select the desired property to color. This way, only the selected item will be colored. And we can also use the Properties tab and drag and drop the property over a 3D view window. For this tutorial, we will select Absolute Translational Velocity and then drag and drop it onto the 3D view window. To create a video animation in ANSYS Rocky, we set keyframes of a particular 3D view window at specified outputs. For this tutorial, a simple animation using only two keyframes in real time will be created. To do that, we will open the animation panel available under Tools and add the first keyframe. Then, we will use the Time toolbar to change the time to the last output and add a second keyframe. The total time should have 13 seconds. We can play the preview in the 3D view window and also export it as an AVI file. All the properties are calculated for every time step and every triangle geometry mesh or particle. In order to create a time plot or a multi-time plot, we must select one of the following operations to transform the properties into a single time-dependent curve. Minimum, maximum, average, sum, sum squared, variance, and or standard deviation. Particles in Solver each contain a Curves tab, which includes several predefined curves that can be plotted without applying any additional operations. The multi-time plot is a useful tool to compare different curves at the same time. Here we will create a new multi-time plot directly on the window item at the top menu. From the Data panel, we will select Particles and select the Curves tab. Then, we will drag and drop Particles in Count over the Plot window. Repeat the same procedure for Particles Out Count. To plot the total number of particles in a separate subplot, click and hold Particles Count, and then with the Control key pressed, drag and drop the curve over the plot. For some DEM analyses, the data must be restricted to a particular region or a particular subset of material. ANSYS Rocky user processes are used to divide and analyze particles, geometries, and fluids. To illustrate the use of one of these tools, we will use a cube and a plane user process to analyze the mass unbalance on the receiving conveyor. We will create one cube to isolate the receiving conveyor and two planes to divide those particles into two subsets, left, orange, and right, green. We will create a cube by right-clicking on particles, then processes and selecting cube. Then we will set the values for center, magnitude, method, and rotation. In the coloring tab, we will select solid color as the node's property and ensure that the node color is set to red and the visibility checkbox is enabled. Note that user processes can be manually changed using the 3D view. Once the cube has been created, the subset of particles inside this region can be used to create specific plots, new properties, and also to create new subsets derived from it. To create the first plane within the cube, we'll right-click on the cube entity and select Plane under the Processes group. There, we will set the name, plane origin and orientation values. We will also set the node color to orange in the coloring tab. 
The second plane is exactly the opposite of the previous, so we will create a copy of it by right-clicking on the first plane and selecting Duplicate. Then we'll modify the name and angle value. And once again, in the Coloring tab, we will modify the color. In this plane, setting it to green. When a user process is selected in the Data panel, ANSYS Rocky highlights the association by displaying the parent entity name in bold. And similar to the multi-time plot, we'll create a time plot by selecting New Time Plot from the Windows panel. Then, we will drag and drop the particle mass over the plot. We'll select only some in the Statistic to Plot selection window. The time plot that appears shows that there is a balance difference between the two sides of the conveyor, which can cause operational problems and lead to additional wear on the belt surface. It is possible to export ANSYS Rocky plots and save 3D views as images by right-clicking an empty area within a plot, point to export, and then click on image. From the image dialog, we will choose the snapshot size, and from the snapshot dialog, we will add a file name, set the image extension, and set the location for the file. This completes part B of the transfer shoot tutorial. For further information on any topic presented, we suggest accessing the full tutorial page or searching the user manual, which provides in-depth descriptions of the tools and parameters. Both are available from the help item located on the top menu.